Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Cancer. This is going to be your middle to the ending of January spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below, and make sure to check out my new Instagram. I'm pulling daily tarot cards, sharing channeled messages, spells, talking about energy shifts, and sharing updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore, and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. And I'm using the fairy deck with the Modern Witch Tarot for you guys today. So I see some of you guys could be talking to somebody here. I see you're trying to have patience in this situation. You're trying to figure this person out. When I see this person is like dating around here. They do have options. And you're being asked to know that you're free to go. Your soul contract with this person has expired, has been fulfilled. They had their time and place and you're free to go. You're free to move forward to go into your next chapter. So I see this person is like cold and detached and they hurt your inner child I'm seeing. I'm also seeing too, there's something about codependency here. So if you're you're not codependent then that message is obviously not for you don't force feed the reading either this reading is not going to resonate with everybody especially as the channel is growing so definitely feel free to check any of my old stuff time is fluid you might find something from last year that resonates with your situation now but like i said don't force feed the reading if you're not codependent you're not codependent this message is not for you but someone who's tuning in here this message is for you okay so i definitely see something about being codependent here okay so that's why you're trying to have patience in this situation you're trying to wait it out with this person but i see your emotions kind of make a veil over you they kind of cloud your judgment when it comes to this situation and like i said you're free to go you're free to step into your next chapter this person's cold and detached and you're being asked to listen to your intuition so you can learn the lesson here okay you're being asked to learn this lesson because i see this as a past cycle that has manifested itself again because you didn't learn the lesson and you're being asked to break this break this cycle you keep dealing with people who date other options who neglect you who are cold and detached emotionally unavailable and it's like you keep on trying to be patient and loyal to these people but like i said they're dating other people dealing with other energies it's really stressing you out it's taking a toll on you you guys are sensitive to energies it lowers your vibration and like i said you're being asked to tune into your intuition learn this lesson but you can't hear your intuition over your root chakra your root chakra is out of whack right now you're getting a lot of fear worries stress you can't hear your intuition over your root chakra so that's why you're like waiting for this person your intuition is telling you to break the cycle to leave because i see you're waiting for this person and it's hurting your inner child here again something about codependency so i definitely see you're being patient in this situation and you're being asked to break this cycle because this is a cycle that has re-manifested itself because you didn't learn a lesson. So this is definitely like a new person with a past person's energy, with a past lesson attached to them. Okay, and you're being asked to break this cycle, but I'm seeing you really want a relationship. You want a partner. And that's also why you're trying to be patient in this situation. Like I said, there is a codependency issue here. Okay, and you're being asked to know that you're free to go. Um, the soul contract between you and this person has been completed. So you're being asked to listen to your intuition so you can move forward, so you can move on, so you can learn this lesson. And you're being asked to take action in becoming the empress here. The empress does not chase. She sits on her throne and she manifest her desires you're being asked to manifest true love that's long lasting and i'm not saying put a spell on this person or something okay i'm not saying that at all um actually that comes with a lot of karmic repercussions okay so i'm not saying that at all i'm saying manifest a love that you don't have to wait up at night and worry if they're gonna commit to you or not Okay, because I see you guys are up at night wondering if this person's gonna commit to you um gives you anxiety and it hurts you okay and again this hurts your inner child so right now you're being asked to choose you choose you by becoming the empress okay when you choose you those inner child wounds heal and that's what you're being asked to do here you're being asked to return to good health because this person like i said they stress you out they stress you out and they give you anxiety like i said you wonder about this person you don't know how this person feels about you and that's also why you're trying to be patient in this situation you don't know this person's feelings towards you like I said, you're up at night wondering if this person's going to commit to you and you're being asked to manifest a love where you don't have to wonder about that, where you don't have to worry about that. 
use the law of attraction to do so. Don't entertain this person or energies like this because the universe is going to keep sending you more. Okay, and you're being asked to stand up for yourself. Stand in your empress energy. You're being asked to not settle for less than you deserve here. You're being asked to know that you're worthy. You're worthy of a love that's true and long-lasting. Okay, and you're being asked to stop settling for people, like I said, that make you wonder how they feel about you, that make you wonder if they're going to commit to you. And like I said, this person hurts your inner child here, this hurts your heart. And you're being asked to take your emotions out of the equation so you can see things for how they are. So you can see that this person is going to take you down another tower moment. And so you can see that this is an unhealthy situation. And again, there's codependency here. A strong codependency problem that you're being asked to be self-aware about. You don't need anybody to complete you because you're being asked to become the empress. You are the empress, but you're not in the empress energy. And you're being asked to step into that empress energy to know that you are worthy, like I said, of a love that's long-lasting. Okay, not these maybe sometimes people. And you're being asked to break this codependency, break this, so you can manifest your best life, so you can manifest a love that is long lasting. You're being asked to turn your back on this situation, so you can be there for yourself and your inner child. I'm hearing you're being asked to care for yourself as you would a small child, especially during Aquarius season. This is a lot about healing, okay? So this is the perfect time to give yourself a lot of self-love, do things that make you happy, do things that you as a child used to do, that used to spark joy joy in you. That's what you're being asked to do right now, okay? Because this was an unrequited love situation and it's distracting you. And you're being asked to know that you're a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities, okay? Don't let this situation bum you out. I definitely see this is distracting you, but you're being asked to see that this was doing more harm than help for you. This wasn't good for you. This was emotionally draining for you. And you're being asked to take your cup of love and give it to yourself. Give it to yourself so that cup can multiply. Invest in yourself and invest in being your best self possible. Because this was toxic and there's a codependency here and you're being asked to not accept less than what you deserve. You want commitment, so stand by it, okay? Because you will manifest a love that is long-lasting. You will manifest the commitment you deserve. Like I said, not these maybe sometimes people. Not these people that hurt you and break your heart. That keep you waiting. That date other options and keep their feelings hidden from you, okay? So that's what you're being asked to do here. This is like a different energy than what I've been picking up. Okay, so someone here definitely has like a codependency issue. And like I said, if that's not you, it's not you. But definitely someone here really needed to hear this. Because I see, like I said, it's like you're settling for less here. You're settling for less when you're the empress. You're the empress, okay? So you're being asked to start acting like it. Start acting like the empress. You want commitment? Don't settle for less, okay? Don't settle for less. Know your self-worth because you are worthy of love, okay? True love. I just see it's like you guys are like really stressed about this person. It hurts you. It makes you feel less than. It hurts your self-esteem. But you're being asked to not let this bum you out, but instead empower you. Empower you to be your best self and to manifest that love you deserve. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. I know it sounded really repetitive, but that's because somebody here is not somebody here is not getting the picture. That's why. So, some signs you could be dealing with. I see you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Pisces, um, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Hope that was good for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. And just a heads up, I am so excited to announce we are almost at 10,000 subscribers, which blows my fucking mind. So to say thank you, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Once we hit 10,000, I'll be announcing the details for that. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you guys so much, especially those of you who've been here since the beginning and especially to all my new people. Welcome to the Cosmic Coven. So glad to have you. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey with me. And I just really want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating, for commenting, for just being awesome and for being a part of this. So thank you guys so much. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys, okay? Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is 
going to be down below. And also go check out my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. Also go check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, channeled messages, all that good stuff. And definitely go check that out if you cast spells or if you pray because I posted up a spell from Mother Earth up there. And the world needs a lot of love right now. So whatever you can do helps. Even something small is going to have a huge impact on the collective. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. And I hope you and your families are safe. I'm sending you guys all of my love and I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye!